These uh, disclosures came to light in April of 2018. Three of the children who have been under the care of the defendant all separately disclosed at Nationwide Children's Hospital that the defendant, uh, at least two of them had disclosed something called the silly private game, uh, but all three of them reported incidents of either touching, having to touch the other children or touching the defendant or vice versa, all sorts of sexual contact, different varieties, I should say, Your Honor. Uh, one of them is three, one is five, and one is 11. Um, and they all reported consistent things. So detectives went to the home on May 23rd of this year to execute a search warrant. The defendant was not home. Her mother was taking care of the children. Her mother is 71 and she was using a walker. There were 23 children in the daycare, ranging in age from seven months to five years old. <coughs> Seven of them were, trapped, were strapped in car seats, left unattended in separate bedrooms. Um, Your Honor, and I think just to call it a daycare center is a little bit generous. I believe that she was running an unlicensed daycare out of her home with unsafe conditions for the children. We would ask for a high bond in light of the number of victims involved. Your Honor, we would also ask for a no contact order with any of the victims and or witnesses, which would include other families that had attended. You heard, you heard the allegations in there. I did. Uh, dozens of children stacked in car seats. Right. Children sounds, who were sexually abused. Sounds horrific, doesn't it? I mean, as Jen Rausch very capably put it, in the light best for the prosecution, it sounded like some unlicensed cluster. So having never been in there, having never seen the photos, having never interviewed any of the witnesses or alleged victims, I have no idea what the conditions were like. What I know for sure is it's certainly curious that an 11-year-old and a five-year-old and a three-year-old would all have the same story. Either my client is a gross sexual predator or somebody is not telling the truth. Do so you think the kids are lying then? Maria, I don't know who's lying. I just know that my client hasn't laid a hand on any child. She's been in this business forever, so all of a sudden she turns into a predator? No way in hell. How long has she been in this business? As baby? long as I can remember. I mean, they've busted their tails to take care of kids up there. The conditions, again, I can't speak to, but they've been in this business a long time.